Okay. <sighs> Focusing on the breath. <sighs> beautiful day, 70 degrees. Supposed to be beautiful all week, 70, 73 degrees. Um, and I'm pretty barfy, and even just the barely the little menstruation that I have, I'm like, oh god, can't eat, I gotta lay down, I tried to walk over to the park with my son, I had to come home and throw up and lay down and take a shower, yeah, go to the bathroom, if you know what I'm saying, all that, just like, a lot's coming in too, that moon is freaking huge, um, I saw it rising, you know, just looks like a big planet out there, you know what I mean? When the sun's still out, but oh my god. Maybe that's why I'm throwing up too. I was just like, ugh. I don't even know if it's the proper time for me to be spotting uh, TMI, whatever. This is life over here, <laughs> but. <sighs> so. When, when things come in, For me, it's not fun and games. It's not a. It's not entertaining. Um, I don't want to. I guess it's a blessing because I can help others, but it's also a curse. It's a blessing and a curse. The gift, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> one of the cards I got, well, the one I got from the Spirit Oracle deck was remembrance and I've always felt like this big anxiety like cloud just looming over my head following me every just like this big responsibility thing weight on my shoulders and uh, whenever things come in like that and God gives me something in 24 and white fire and all it, it's it's overwhelming. It's, uh, I try to avoid doing research because sometimes it's so overwhelming it makes me sick to my stomach. So that's why sometimes it takes me a long time to get around to things because the immensity of the energy of it is too much. And I know what God is showing me. And I don't want to know it. <laughs> but the thing is, I've, all, I've always known it. I'm just coming into remembering it. Again. <laughs> And it's beautiful, but I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy because as beautiful as it can be, it's very difficult. It is very solitary. It's very isolating. It's very lonely, scary. Uh, riddled with anxiety, confusion, doubt, fear, sleeplessness. <laughs> Did I mention anxiety? Yeah. Just panic attacks so bad to where you're like, oh god, you're incapacitated, sweating, throwing up, it's just... And yeah, I know, I know there's ascension symptoms happening, and there's that time of the month can play into it, and, uh, you know, eating cheese maybe when I wasn't supposed to. <gasps> um, yes, and there's a combination of ascension symptoms and electronic harassment or whatever, but, but what... 
I'm dealing with currently is just the immensity of the energy of uh, the Divine Feminine coming into her power. Fierce Lion and Puma energy and the... St God. Solar plexus chakra and throat chakra coming up and root chakra. Really like powerful energies coming in for the Divine Feminine. Uh, so it's a bit overwhelming the responsibility of, of what God's showing me of with and you guys I don't know what any of this stuff is 24 I gotta I mean oh and I had 24 jump street just popped into my head <laughs> oh I can't laugh my, oh, my stomach hurts oh my god So I'm just going to lay here and watch my Tibet movie that I've watched a million times that, that's on a repeat link so it's like a three hour or something so I can, so it will repeat on its own. <laughs> and I can just lay here and re relax and um, that's what I like to do, watch the same movie about the red haired devil that falls out of the sky into Tibet and meets his human twin flame and Anyway, um, it's just called Tibet Movie. I don't even know what, I just type in Tibet Movie and there it is right there, the thumbnail with her holding the big, uh, what are those guns, um, buckshot, I guess, something like that. Um, so I just wanted to share from my hearts, just my, my hearts, my, um, yeah, you know, all the ones I've had in the past lives all converged in, into this one right here. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to share from this unified heart field um, the truth of my now. And it's kind of barfy. And some tears and some fears. And... Um, It's beautiful though, and I wanted to just share, yeah, from my heart, so, um, just so any of you, if you got the wrong idea that it's some glamorous life, and, uh, you know, people get stuck on labels, profits, this, that, whatever, whatever, I, I don't care, um, all I know is what God's shown me, and I don't even know what it means. I don't even, I don't know if it's in the Bible. I don't know where I'm supposed to find it. I don't know. All I know is when I find it, I know that's what God's trying to show me, because it, it just has a resonance. And um, I say everything in divine timing, but um, I can be the queen of procrastination and, and putting things off because... Uh, this is why my clients readings are therapeutic for me too but um, so because that came up in a reading and it could have just been a message for me <laughs> but, so yeah so I'm getting all my spring cleaning done and um, you know I didn't want to put off a washer I'm like okay the laundry is building up let's get that washer um, got it from Sears because it was only going to take three days and bam bam they took the old one away the new one oh yeah it was so beautiful um and I'm grateful for my life but there is a lot of responsibility that comes with this job and there's a lot of loneliness and isolation and being uncomfortable in your body and the 3D, the 3D is not a place for me. <laughs> um, I do want to share a couple of things, might as well just, actually, well, Let 
Let me just share this one part about gypsum because it it went along with um, oh, in White Sands, New Mexico, White Sands National Monument, where I used to live near there. Um, so selenite, what I got that selenite wand is actually gypsum. Selenite is hardly selenite at, at all. It's mostly gypsum. Um, they have, they grow in a, um, twinning, it's okay, so twin crystals, that's how they grow. So the synthesis, so how they come together... Okay, so a new study has suggested that the formation of gypsum starts as tiny crystals of a mineral called basinite, like base, like bass the fish, okay, base, basinite, like slapping the base. Oh, and that's citation number 17. Oh, God, my stomach. Oh. Just the number sometimes alone are too much to where I'm like, uh, Tibet movie and fan and lay down. <laughs> Turn my fan on, get my hair wet, put on my bathrobe, just lay in my bed with my fan on, with my Tibet movie playing, and just, yeah, just rest my eyes and breathe. So, there's the three phases here. So, it starts as tiny crystals of a mineral called basinite. This process occurs via a three-stage pathway. <sighs> Sorry, I don't feel very good, so I keep taking the deep breaths and speaking slowly. <sighs> so, and I'm not trying to be dramatic. I literally feel barfy. Just was barfing, so I'm not trying to get any sympathy either. I'm trying to move on from it. Just trying to explain why I'm breathing heavy over here, not trying to get fresh. Um, so this three stages of everything, like um, what I, what we were getting with the blossoming, fruiting, and seeding. Everything's a trinity. Everything has three phases. Um, so the first phase is homogeneous nucleation of nanocrystalline basinite. So basically what that means, nanocrystalline is the smallest particle, smallest crystalline particle, okay, of uh, this thing, basinite. So, and nucleation just means like uh, the nucleus, I'm, I believe, and homogeneous, okay, we all know what that means, homogeneous, uh, so the same... Um, genius the, <laughs> the same geniuses with the same nuclear no. um, and then the second phase is self-assembly of basinite into aggregates oh and that ag with MAGA and the teaching that I want to share um, it's just a teaching that is a fundamental teaching that I'm sharing but um, things are a little bit too much coming in right now so I'm gonna rest for a couple days and I I might do zodiac monthlies um, maybe we'll see if I do all I'm gonna make them really short this month but um or do by elements or I'm not, I'm not sure not, I'm not thinking about that okay we're <laughs> But I started getting off on, because aggregates, let's say, because Adam is, D's are G's, Adam is Agam, Agam, backwards is Maga, okay, so Agam, aggregate, agriculture, okay, we're farmers, we're of the earth. Um, and then the third and final phase is transformation of basinite into gypsum. So... It's like the coalescing of anything, oil droplets on the water, like if you're, you know, boiling, you know, pasta, rice, whatever, you put some oil in the water, whatever, so the, they'll coalesce the water droplets on the, on the window, 
it all wants to come together and coalesce. So this is what we're doing as soul groups and with God and with nature. Um, we're coming into that coalescence. So as we merge, we're surrendering all these things, these fears, these all these like, I can't handle it. I can't handle the truth. I can't handle the responsibility. I'm tired of barfing. I just want to take a nap. I just want to go to sleep. I just want to go to sleep. That's, that's, <gasps> that's my escape. That's what I do. I don't turn to drugs, alcohol, porn, anger. I, I, I go take a nap. I go, I, yeah, like I just said. I'm sitting here in my nice cotton, white cotton bathrobe, comfy, got my fan on, my hair is wet, and breathing so and what's very interesting just like how a snowflake forms and there's certain you can look it up for yourself the certain typical starter starts as like a cylindrical and then it goes to a different okay so and why do they form like this why are these shapes supported by nature why does it start as tiny little this and gets bigger and then forms and then coalesces into this and then has three phases? It why? Because science doesn't get to. I mean, it can understand the the how everything, but it. But what's the thing guiding it, pushing it forward to form, to coalesce, to move? So this is the white fire. This is the guiding force of the universe, the harmonic instruction that, that is um, uh, ingrained, that, that's encoded, yeah, that's encoded in just absolutely everything. The, the air, the wind, the, the air, the wind, the air, the wind, and the, the, my head, my brain, and my mind. Um. <laughs> so yeah just the this is the thing that you know and again the rainbow bridge between heaven and earth between the earthlings and the elohim okay um you, you can say arch negative arch positive between um masculine and feminine okay uh between you know just human and animal and back in the day, we used to have, okay, we used to be all different parts, okay, and for people to say, oh, well, we couldn't have had this. No, we did used to have wings. We had tails, we had wings, we had horns, we had all kinds of different things, okay? We had, we had fish, we had fins, we, had, we could um, change and transform ourselves into different things. Um, it's all divine, though. It's all cyclical, cycles and... Um, circles and cycles or what seasons and cycles or whatever different cards like that keep coming up okay so that's all it is it's um and i was thinking something like why do we have to keep going through cycles can't we just get to the permanence of the integration of masculine and feminine perfect balance okay the sky turns purple all right the the blue and the red come together the masculine and feminine come together boom the sky turns purple it cracks open mother wisdom divine wisdom every is accessible to all and then why do we have to go into a dark age again? I was communicating with the angels and just being like, why? I don't understand. Can we get, okay, it's the third and final golden age or this or that, whatever, the fifth sun. This, and I'm like, can't. And then I was watching something. I don't know if it was Hopi Prophecy or what I was reading because um, I'm re researching the Rainbow Jaguar and uh, uh, Lunar Hawk and the Vulture because that was coming to me and Gypsum and... <laughs> Um, and now I just lost my plate. Oh, God. <laughs> my Stellar's Jay's been calling to me and coming to me in the morning, and, um, big giant raven with a wingspan, like, freaking. <sighs> I, 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 I don't know. Like, each one of my legs on each one of the side is huge. It's huge keeps flying right over to me and the, just like my bird tribe is just surrounding me like the planes are flying kind of to the side but the birds are flying right over my head now it's which it's changing it's awesome oh the purple sky right so what i was saying what i was saying when i was talking with the angels i was just saying like man i don't want to come 
do this again and come back and, re and I don't want to come back again. But I'm gonna have to if we have to keep going through a dark age and then the, and what the what the hell? Why? This is stupid. I was literally saying like this is a stupid way. There's got to be a better way. I know this isn't. It doesn't just keep going on like that. It's got to be. If everything's a trinity, then we have to have the final phase or whatever. However, and and then we're just locked into permanent balance. And just flowing in that infinity of perfect balance, like. And then I read. I came. I'm gonna have to find that. If it was in the Hopi prophecy, prophecy video I was watching. Um, oh, now I can't remember. If I find it, come across it in my readings. I'll. But it said something like that, where um, we're finally. You know. It's like a, a shaman's prophets, whatever you want to call it. We're, um, we have a, it a, feels like a heavy burden, okay? It, it's magical and cool stuff, finding out whimsical and seeing fairies and angels, but it's like, um, it's immense, the energy of it, so it can be really overwhelming to the 3D body, okay, so you can really knock you out, make you really tired, make you not be able to sleep and you're exhausted, make you barfy, just fear comes up, panic attack, whatever, so it's not the glamorous life over here, but I do feel, and as I was saying that, I'm like, if I'm thinking this and I can have this thought then I know it has to exist because how could I have this thought otherwise so and then I came across that today somewhere um like I said if I can find it or maybe someone watching if you're watching this if they know what it is um you can email me but it was like oh um, oh, I'm going to have to find it. it. It was something because I'm researching the fifth sun. It's like the fifth and final age, the fifth sun. Um, and it relates to the Hopi prophecy. So that's the South American, the Mayan um, prophecy and stuff. And same story, and this was before Jesus was even born, okay? So it's the same story. And, and these... this. <laughs> These were Jesus and John the Baptist and all these people, but, okay, they had to look like the people of the time when they incarnated. So, when they say, oh, it was way, it was this however many years before Jesus was born, but they're not taking into account reincarnation, and I know reincarnation is real. Because <laughs> I've had past lives, I don't need to study it. I know from my own remembrance, waking up, um, these are experiences that I haven't had in this lifetime, so, and it's definitely, um, connected also to people who are alive today, so we've had lifetimes together, and God, just in ancient, you know, in ancient times, but also other uh, places, like planets or something. Oh, God. So it's really cool and magical and all that stuff, but then it's a lot, too, because it's overwhelming. It's just like, and then when God shows you something, you got to go research, and then you're, you're tired and whatever on top of it, but you have this drive inside. It's just like you feel pulled you're like trying to be this rainbow bridge right but you're being like, you feel like you're being pulled and stretched like taffy between the, the third and the fifth uh what, whatever they're called deliveries deliverances <laughs> oh god um yeah so if you guys want to check out some cool stuff and just see what resonates with you i just typed in Fifth Sun Prophecy, just all words, okay? Fifth Sun Prophecy. Oh, and I actually misspelled that. Oh, yeah, thanks, Google. Yeah, not pro-pussy. 
prophecy. Well, propolis, yeah, bees, the propolis. Um, so the, the Hopi prophecy, the coming of the fifth age, blue and red star Kachina, um, what one did I just watch that was pretty good? Um, the, I, maybe I'll put that below the link. It's only 22 minutes. The Mayan fifth sun and ascension timing with Gerald Clark. Um, there's also the five suns, the sacred history of Mexico. Oh, this is the one right here. Okay, so let me... This is the one that I had synchronicity. Now I'm going off a little bit. And look, there's only two views because it was, there was only one when I clicked on this. So I was the second one. And there's still only two. <laughs> there's only one other person that watched this. And it was posted... November 11th, 2017. Aww, last year on 11 11. 11! Oh my god, 2017! Wait, 8? No, that's a 10. Okay, a 1. Okay, so 5 1s. 1 1 1 1 1. Okay, and the 5th sun. So anyway, it's funny how there's like, there was only one view. It's been out here. Oh no, it hasn't been out here. Okay, so since November. But still, I can't believe there's only. I'm the second, and now the third, only because I was the second viewer, too. <laughs> it's pretty good. There's a few things that, I mean, just, I, it's not that I don't resonate. It's just when they say, oh, 5,000 years before Jesus was born, or things like, things like this, it's, well, they don't really understand that Quetzalcoatl and these different people were Jesus, incarnated at different times, but they had to, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, look like the people, kind of, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, published on November 11th, two, 2017, and the name of the channel is Sylvain Katus, oh, are you kidding me? S um, cat? <laughs> cat so anyway that's been coming up all the jaguar rainbow jaguar um the lion one came up for a client then i got the puma one um which is the same thing as a panther uh or mountain lion or cybex or what are the what are they called um So yeah, mountain lion, puma, um, <clears throat> panther, all the same cat. The lone cat. <laughs> Lions aren't lone cats, but that's, you know, they have a significance with the earth and terraforming and all. We, we already know all that, right? So we're... Um, this one's 41 minutes, 45 seconds, so it's a bit lengthy. Yeah, there's like, there's no comments on here. I, there, I'm the only one that's watched this besides one other person. And it's been out since, so December, January, February. Okay, a few months, maybe. Okay, so I was thinking it's been out for a year, but yeah, because it was only, because it was November, so late last year. But still, for being out for a few months, uh more people need to know this stuff so anyway um i'll post this link below and yeah that's it i'll just post that one because that's a pretty good one and with the synchronicity of november 11th 11 11 hello all right that's it um i blabbed on long enough I love you all. Love, peace, and blessings.